Hello, it's Jamie here from Cosmic Kids. I'm here to talk about our app. It gives you unlimited streaming of all our videos and we make sure there are no ads, no funny links and no suggested videos. We organise all our videos into helpful playlists, making it super easy to find your way around. To sign up, head to app.cosmickids.com. Yoga Club Welcome to Yoga Club. This week, why not get the whole family moving together with our sports day fun? Before we get our eggs balanced on our spoons, let's enjoy some messages from you. First hello goes to Ivy, who loves the Ruby Broom and Betsy the Banana yoga adventures. Ivy likes to do yoga with her sister Zazu, and her favourite pose is wolf pose because it makes her back feel good. Ivy suggests Big Hero 6 for a yoga adventure, which is a lovely idea. That is such a great movie. Thanks, Ivy. Hello to Savannah, who is 10. Thanks for saying hi and for sending in your lovely message. It's so good to hear you enjoy the videos. A big shout out hello to Imogen and brother Finley. I hear that you've been doing the yoga for a few years now and you really, really love it, which is great. I'm also glad to hear that the Zen Dens are helping too and they make sense to you. Hello to McKenna, who is seven, turning eight on September the 14th. Happy birthday for then, McKenna. And hello to your brother Ransom, who is 10 now and is turning 11 on December the 28th. Not long and it will be here. It's great to hear that, McKenna, you enjoy the fairy and Pokemon yoga adventures. And Ransom, you enjoy the Minecraft one. I hope you keep enjoying the yoga and mindfulness and it's a fun part of your homeschool days. Thanks to Mum Amanda for writing in. Hello to Marie, who is five, and Kate, who is two. Marie is adding her vote for pony yoga hopefully on its way very soon. It's amazing to hear that, Marie, you love the Alan the Camel yoga adventure so much. And Kate, even being only two, loves the Calypso the Flamingo adventure. Apparently, Kate is able to do a flamingo pose too, which is amazing. Thanks to Marie and Kate's mum for writing and saying how you enjoy the Cosmic Kids app being such a safe place and, and there being no ads. Absolutely. We're so glad you enjoy it so much. Finally, hello to Heidi, who is five from Melbourne, Australia. Sending you a big happy birthday, Heidi, for August the 22nd, when you will be six. Also, a hello to Thomas, who is in your message. I hope that the lockdown eases soon, but in the meantime, the yoga can help you stay active and happy. I love your idea for doing a Lego episode. That is definitely on my list. Now, before we start, you can also try out the Comic Kids app by going to app.cosmickids.com. There you can get it for two weeks and see how much more there is on there. And as Marie and Kate's mum said, there are no ads. Give it a try. Don't forget to email me at yogaclub at cosmickids.com. I love hearing from you and learning what you'd like to see made into a yoga adventure and you telling me what you like doing about yoga. But now let's begin our yoga club and enjoy some sports day fun beginning with a very calm brain break building up to Sonic the Hedgehog as a grand finale. <laughs> Hello everyone. Today we're going to sit and stretch by doing some seated yoga. So find yourself a chair to sit in and come to sit, if you can, at the front of it so that your back's nice and straight. Make sure you've got some space around you and your feet are flat on the ground. Bring your hands onto your lap. Right, let's begin by warming up our necks. Looking over one shoulder, looking over the other. Looking over one shoulder and looking over the other. Bring your head back to the centre and now tick your head one way and tock it the other. Tick it and tock it. This time keep it over this side and take your hand up and over your head so that it rests a little bit on your ear. You don't need to press too hard, just let it sit there just to add a little bit of weight and help your neck stretch a little bit more. Lovely. 
Lower your hand all the way down and then come over to the other side. Take your hand up and over, placing it on your ear just to give it that little bit of extra weight so that you can enjoy that stretch down your neck. Nice. Release your arm and now slowly drop your chin to your chest. Roll your head all the way around one way and all the way around the other way. Nice. And come back to the centre. Now our necks are warm, let's do our shoulders. We roll our shoulders round and round. Lift them up and put them down. Lift up one, lift up two, put down one, put down two. Going up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Lovely, now our shoulders are all warm. Now. Let's pretend that we've got a backpack on and we need to get something out. So we reach up one of our arms and we drop it down towards our back. Mm, we can't quite reach it, so we take our other arm up and over the top to press our elbow down so that we can get in there a bit further. Mm, no good, so we lower our arms all the way down. Let's try with the other side. Reach your other arm up and drop it down into your back. Take your other arm up and over and press your elbow down. Try and keep your neck nice and long. That's it. Oh, we've got it. We bring it out. Oh, it's a beach ball, but it's a little bit deflated. Needs to be blown up. We cup our hands around our mouth and we blow our beach ball all the way up. Wow, this was a bigger beach ball than I thought. It's starting to float up into the sky. We tether it to our chair. Now it can carry us up. We're flying. Let's have a look over the sides, everyone. Sitting up nice and tall. Twist yourself round one way. And if you've got an arm on your chair, you can hold your arm. Otherwise, take hold of the back of your chair. Sit up tall and twist and have a look. Keep your feet flat on the ground. <gasps> look, over there, we can see our house and our family. Let's give them a wave. Hi, house. Hi, family. Now, come back to the middle. Let's have a look on the other side. Sit up nice and tall and then twist yourself all the way round to maybe hold the back of your chair. That's it. Keep your feet planted and have a look. <gasps> Look, there's our school, our friends, and the park. Give them a wave. Hi, everybody. Brilliant. We turn back to the front. Now, let's look through our cosmonoculars and see where we're going. Joining your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. Wow, we can see a bright horizon. The sun in the sky, the clouds. It's beautiful. Now, lowering your cosmonoculars down, I wonder if we can do the crazy cosmonocular face mask. Let's try. Bring your fingers up again, joining your thumbs and fingers together. Now take these three fingers and put them under your jaw, bringing your pinky finger to where your cheek meets your jaw. Now lift your elbows and lift up your cosmonocular holes so that you can see through them the upside down way. Yes, we're wearing our cosmonocular face mask. And the future is bright. Amazing. Lowering your arms all the way down, we crisscross our fingers and we lift them up and back behind our heads. We lean back in our chair and we close our eyes as our chair floats us up into the sky. We feel so peaceful and clear, ready to take this lovely peaceful feeling into the next thing we're doing. We've landed. Coming up to sit again, everyone. We're here and we're feeling fresh and ready. Well done, everyone. The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe.
bicycle pose. Coming down to lie on our backs. We crisscross our fingers and put them behind our heads, lifting our shoulders a little bit. Then we lift our legs up and we pedal like we're pushing the pedals on our bicycle. And as we zoom along, we sing our special roly poly song. Here we go. Roly poly up, up, up. Roly poly down, down, down. Roly poly ever so slowly. Roly poly, roly poly, quick, quick, quick. Now bicycle pose is very good for strengthening our core and the muscles in our sides, which are called obliques. And every time we push our pedals, we're stretching the backs of our legs. And that's where our hamstrings live. Mm. Oh, hi guys. Keep going everyone. Oh, 20 more miles to go. Hopefully we'll make it back in time for dinner. Woo! Bicycle pose.
everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy. Just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There, now we're ready to begin. So let's take a look through our ring-shaped cosmonoculars and find out who we're meeting today. Joining our thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. Ooh, look at the colours. Look at the shapes spinning around and around. Oh, can you see the picture? Yes, it's Sonic the Hedgehog. What's Sonic doing? He's dancing and he's, and he's spinning around with rings going everywhere. Oh, this is amazing. Lowering our hands, everyone. We're going to have a Sonic the Hedgehog yoga adventure. That's why I've got my Sonic the Hedgehog quills. And that's why we're here on Sonic's home island. Now, as we all know, Sonic is a blue hedgehog. So let's begin with a hedgehog pose. We come up onto our knees and we fold all the way forwards. Now we bring our hands behind our back and we point up our fingers like there are pointy bright blue hedgehog quills. Amazing, well done everyone. Now coming all the way up to sit and all the way up to stand. Now, Sonic was born with an extraordinary power, that of supersonic speed. <laughs> All right, Sonic, ready for some yoga? Oh, wow, that was quick. Well, the sun is shining here today on Sonic's hometown island, so let's get our bodies warmed up and ready for a run. We reach up to the sun, wave at the sun and say, hello, sun. Now we fold all the way forwards and we wave down at that beautiful earth and we say, hello, earth. We step one leg all the way back and come into our sonic runner's pose. Vroom, vroom. Now we take our other foot back. We drop down onto our knees and lower all the way down onto our tummies, untucking our toes. We roll our shoulders back and lift ourselves up to be a pointy blue hedgehog quill. Bing! Now we tuck our toes and we press our hips up to the sky, coming into our dog pose, our chilli dog pose. That's Sonic's favourite food. We lift our foot all the way up and we step it between our hands, coming into our sonic runner's lunge again. Vroom, vroom. Now, let's try a sonic side angle pose. Seeing if we can lift our hands and come to face the front, we turn our toes to the side and bend our knee. Now, we rest our elbow and forearm down onto our thigh and we sweep our top arm up and over our heads, coming into our sonic side angle pose. Well done, everyone. Now, let's see if we can do it on the other side. Coming up to stand, arms wide, we turn our toes to face the other way now and we bend our knee. We put our elbow on our forearm, down on our thigh and we take our top arm up and over our head, seeing if we can look up under our arm. Amazing, well done everyone. Now we twist to the side and we come into our sonic runner's lunge again. Vroom, vroom. We step our feet together, wave down at the beautiful earth and we say, hello, earth. We roll up to stand, reach up to the sun and say, hello, sun. Wow, I feel electric now, ready to go for a sonic style run. But let's begin with a spin attack to build up some speed. Coming to sit on our bottoms, we hug our knees in and we squash a tomato under our chin. 
Now we rock all the way back and all the way up to stand. After three, here we go. One, two, three. Whoop! Woo! Up we come and reach. Well done, everyone. Now we begin to run around in a circle as fast as we can. Here we go. Running with supersonic speed. Faster and faster with a blue blur coming behind us. We're going so fast. Now Sonic can also run on the walls. Let's have a go at doing that. Coming to lie on our sides. We bring our hand under our head and our other hand in front for some support. We lift up our legs and we run like we're running on the walls. How cool. He can also run upside down. Let's have a go at doing that. We lie on our backs, crisscross our fingers, put them behind our heads and lift up our legs. And let's run on the sky. Here we go. Wow, supersonic sky running. This is awesome. We come up to sit and cross our legs. Now, here on Sonic's hometown island, he has a guardian and mentor called Longclaw, who is a very wise owl. Let's try our owl pose. Coming onto our knees, we bring our hands down and we lift all the way up saying twit and all the way down saying too. Very good, everyone. Now, as I mentioned before, Sonic's favorite food, his favorite snack in the whole world, is chili dogs. Let's see how they taste. Sitting on our bottoms with our legs crossed, we fold all the way forwards, resting our elbows down, trying to keep our bottoms planted on the floor. Now let's gobble up some yummy chili dogs. Oh, goodness me, they're delicious. We rub a hand on our tummies and pat our heads at the same time. Hmm, maybe we should eat them a bit slower next time. Goodness me. Now, let's use one of Sonic's magic rings and transport ourselves to another place. We come up to stand, jump our feet wide, take our arms wide, and we spin a ring. Here we go. Spinning side to side. The magical ring appears and a portal door opens inside it. Let's do our portal door pose. Coming down onto two knees, leg to the side, arm to the sky. We open it up with a... Look, on the other side, we can see Sonic's cave on planet Earth. Let's come up to stand and do our cave pose. Feet wide, arms wide, hands up above our head. Now, here in Sonic's cave, he is living his best life. He has everything he needs here. He has his whole library of comic books. Let's do our comic book pose. Sitting on our bottoms, bending our knees, we take our legs out wide and hold onto our toes to flutter our legs like the pages of our comic book. And we read at supersonic speed. Ooh, just like Sonic. Very good, everyone. Now, Sonic also has his own home gym here in his cave. He likes to take a run in the washing machine. Let's do our washing machine pose. Crossing our legs, we crisscross our fingers and put them behind our heads. Now we twist from side to side, saying, wish a wash a wish a wash a wish a wash a woo. Wish a wash a wish a wash a wish a wash a woo. Wow, that was fun. Sonic also likes playing guitar. He rocks out playing his guitar. So let's have a play. Taking our legs out long in front of us, we pick up one of our legs using our opposite hand, maybe holding it underneath our ankle as we bring it across our body. Now we stretch our other arm all the way back behind us. And after three, let's strum a great big rock chord. Ready? One, two, three. Wow! That was amazing. Let's try it on the other side. Putting that foot down, picking up the other one now, bringing it across our body, holding onto our ankle. We stretch our other arm back behind us. After three, let's play that chord again. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Fantastic, everyone. Popping our foot all the way down. Now, Let's use another magic ring and transport ourselves to somewhere Sonic loves, the baseball pitch. 
coming up to stand, jumping our feet wide, arms wide, we spin a ring. Here we go, spinning side to side. Wow, the magic ring appears and a portal door opens once again inside it. Let's use our portal door pose, down onto two knees, leg to the side, arm to the sky, and through we go. And we're here at the baseball pitch, coming up to stand. Now, Sonic is so speedy, he can play every position on the pitch at the same time. He begins batting. Let's do our batting pose. Turning to the side, we bend our knees a little bit and we take our arms in front of us like we're holding our baseball bat. Now we swing it back over our shoulder and we look towards the pitcher. Bottom of the ninth tie score and exactly who you want at the plate with the game on the line, Sonic. Next, he's the pitcher. Standing up nice and tall, we balance on one leg. Oh, trying not to wobble. We take the ball in one hand and we have our glove in the other hand and we put the ball in the glove. We eyeball our target, staring him down from the pitcher's mound, the most fearsome southpaw in Green Hills, also Sonic. Next, he's the catcher, coming into our catcher's position, turning to the front, feet a little bit wider, we bend all the way down into a little squat position. Now, preparing to catch, Sonic gets himself ready by patting his face by playing the armpit trumpet and by doing some funny hand signals. Hat, elbow, one, two, three, wipe. Good job, everyone. Ready to catch. Now, after pitching the ball and hitting the ball, Sonic begins to run. Coming up to stand, he runs around the bases, running on the spot as fast as we can. He makes first base, then second base, and third base, before he becomes the coach and cheers himself on, jumping up and down. Here we go. Go home! Go home! He then fields the ball, coming down onto one knee, leaning all the way down to pick it up. He stretches back and throws it to himself to try and catch himself out. But right at the last moment, Sonic reaches up to the sky. He swan dives all the way forwards, drops down onto his tummy, stretches his arms and his legs up in the air, and he slides to make the home run. Woohoo! Coming up to stand, legs wide, arms wide, Sonic high fives himself. Let's try that by clapping our hands above our head. Ready? One, two, three. Well done, everyone. Feeling super proud. We're ready to return back to Sonic's hometown island. Let's spin a final ring. Arms wide, here we go. Spin side to side to side. Once again, the portal door opens, coming down onto our two knees, leg to the side, arm to the sky, and we step through and we sit down on our bottoms with our legs crossed. What a fun adventure with Sonic the Hedgehog. He's got so much power and energy that he needs to make sure he rests and has a good sleep to balance all that super sonic speed. Let's join him now for a little bit of that relaxation. We lie down on our backs. Ah, and we let our bodies become lovely and still. Ah. Our arms and legs feel heavy, all floppy, like spaghetti. What an awesome adventure with Sonic the Hedgehog. He has so much power and energy that he has to take care of it and use it wisely. So to be the best he can be, he needs to make sure that he rests, he relaxes, and he has some calm time too, to balance it all out so that he really can be the best he can be. This is very important for us too. We need to balance out our energy, make sure that we have plenty of rest and relaxation time 
to make the most of those times when we're the most active. So practice being calm as much as you practice being excited and full of energy. That balance will keep us healthy and will keep us strong. Slowly now, we begin to wake up, wiggling our toes and wiggling our fingers. We hug our knees into our chest and we roll onto our sides, opening our eyes and coming up to sit with our legs crossed and our hands together at our hearts. We finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Wow, you were amazing. Awesome in the Sonic the Hedgehog yoga adventure. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you again soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>